In the short period of time following the crucifixion of our Lord, between about 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock on that Friday, there were a lot of Jesus' disciples that were already gone and fled, that is, had not stayed for the crucifixion and were cowering in fear, including most of Jesus' disciples. But there was one individual that stepped forward in the midst of all of this chaos to try to care for Jesus, even in Jesus' death, and that was Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph is mentioned in all four gospel accounts, and there are a few things that are said about him in comparison to many of the characters of the gospels, but what we do have is very revealing. Joseph was a rich man, according to all four gospel accounts. That's indicative of the fact that he wrapped the body of Jesus in a clean linen cloth, which he had bought. He laid it in his own new tomb in which no man had been laid, and it was in a garden, a garden tomb. He was also a man who had spices with him. He and, jo he and Nicodemus, according to John's account, came to bind the, the body of Jesus, and it was in 100 pounds of myrrh and aloe. That's indicative of the, the means that Joseph had at his disposal. But more importantly than all of those things is the character of this man. This man was a prominent member of the Sanhedrin Council. And according to Mark's account of Mark 15, 43-46, Joseph was waiting for the kingdom of God. In fact, John's account in John 19, 38 through 42 indicates that Joseph had been a secret disciple. Well, it wasn't secret anymore. He was stepping forward when many other disciples were cowering. He decided to risk his own life to do something for the Lord. He was not only waiting for the kingdom of God. Luke says in Luke 23, 50 through 53, that he was a good and righteous man and had not consented to the plan and the actions of the council. This man was unique. This man stepped forward in a crisis. This man stepped forward in an hour of suffering. Charlie was doing a, a magnificent job talking about suffering in, during our Bible class. And in the midst of the suffering of all the disciples because of the death of Jesus, he stepped forward and he prepared the body of Jesus for burial. He and Nicodemus. Would, would we be counted in that kind of number? As disciples of Jesus, would we step forward when everyone else is not ready to step forward? Would we be counted when many others refuse to be counted? We need to examine our own lives that we can meet up to the standards of Joseph. And when crisis comes, we can be counted upon. If you are a child of God and your life has not been as it should be in the sight of the Lord, you've allowed the cares and the worries and the problems of this life to intervene, to cause you to become unfaithful and your love to grow cold we're going to be singing a song in just a moment to encourage you to come forward repenting of the things that are missing your life confessing them publicly before God and this body of people and praying that you might be forgiven as if you're not a member of the Lord's church if you're not a Christian then you can obey the gospel through belief in Jesus repentance of sin confessing confessing your faith in Christ and being baptized for the forgiveness of sins if you see a need in any way to respond to the Lord's invitation, we ask you to do it now while we stand and while we sing.